Haribo, and welcome to lesson 10 of basic Madunga instruction. I'm going to be teaching today about how to play what's typically called lo fatal. Lo fatal is what a lot of people like to call two beat. Two beat is kind of a naive way of putting it. There are actually three beats in each measure. One, two, three. Three is usually kind of silent or weaker. So people usually play kartals on the first two. One, two. Ch -ch -ch -ch. So it's one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now, uh, there are a lot of instances in which this uh, two beat or actually three beat tala is used. One of the most famous ones, and which is coming up in a few months, so this video will help you to prepare, is during the month of Kartik, we often sing the bhajan the, called the Dhammadarashtakam. The Dhammadarashtakam is usually, the most common tune is played with <clears throat> three beats per cycle, and therefore the kartals are played on one and two usually. One, two, three. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Now, there are many confusing and variations, uh, many confusing variations and ways of playing during this uh, bhajan, and I'm going to teach you today the, the simplest one that I've ever heard, and it's very simple. All you got to remember is keeping the rhythm exactly correct, which is one, two, three, one, two, three. Up till now, we have only learned uh, rhythms that have been cycles of four or multiples of four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. This is the first time we're learning the one that's actually one, two, three, one, two, three. <clears throat> so the tala that we're going to learn today, or the mantra we're going to learn, is tak ta ki ki tak ja ge de na ge de na. I'll repeat that. Tak ta ki ki tak ja ge de na ge de na. Now, this mantra has a very unique uh, rhythmic pattern in it which repeats over and over and that's tak ta tak is something we play with it's the same as ti or te it's played with the second and third fingers of the right hand tak ta tak ta tak ta one two three one two three one two three so this is Tak ta ki ki tak ja ge de na ge de na tak ta ki ki tak ja ge de na ge de na. So let's go through it step by step. The first part is very easy, of course. Tak ta. There we go. Tak ta. Then the second part is ki ki tak ja. So tak ta ki ki tak ja. Ja again is played with both hands at the same time. Ge on the left, ta on the right. Ja. Ta, ta, ki, ki, ta, ja. Then the second part of it is, is simply a repetition of ge, de, na, ge, de, na. So ge is just left hand by itself. Ge. And then de. De is ge plus ti again. De, ge, de, na, ge. Again, so again, the important part here is that each part of it is three beats long. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, two, three. So the complete mantra is as follows. So you may want to play along. I'll play a few cycles so you can get the idea.
Okay. Now, there are a few small variations that you can add to this that are also quite simple. Once you get the hang of the very basic mantra, then you can add a few little things. The first one is you can add an extra ge in the first part. So it sounds like this. Tak, ta, ki, ki, ta, ge, ta. Like that. Tak, ta, ki, ki, ta, ge, ta. Another place you can add a little bit is during the second part, you can add a gay as follows. Again. So if you wanted to add both of those things, Or you can play the simple one. Okay, now I'm going to show you how you can apply this while playing during the Dhammadarashtakam. I'll sing the first verse of it and I'll play along with this mantra. Namami Swaram Rupam Lasat and then you can continue Hare Krishna So it's quite slow as you can see, it's quite a slow performance speed, so it shouldn't be too much trouble once you get the hang of the rhythm. Now you can play it faster and there are certain bhajans in which it's played faster. I'll sing a tune from a bhajan but I'll play I'll sing Hare Krishna where this is played a lot much a lot faster. Uh in in fact around this speed. Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Krishna So there you have it. Now you have the tools to be able to play in a kirtan where the main bass beat is not four, but three. So multiples of three, such so as six, nine, and twelve. An example is the Dhammadarashtakam, which is very popular and it's coming up in a few months. Only a, short, a few short weeks, in fact. Kartik will be there. And in, other, in many other bhajans as well. So I hope this was helpful to you. Hare Krishna.